Live from Indianapolis, this is the Jim Cow Post Game Show. And good evening, everyone. I'm Phil Sanchez, live outside of Lucas Oil Stadium after what was a disappointing Colts game here in downtown Indianapolis. And I'm Alexis Rogers. We've been talking with you all night long, especially when it comes to all the coverage before and after the game. Man, that was a disappointing loss. A lot happened in that game, and we'll break it all down. It certainly was. A lot of disappointing Colts fans uh, coming out of the stadium right now. A lot of them maybe had one or two, one or two too many beverages tonight. Or to three save or four. Or three or four to say <laughs> the know. least. A lot of, lot of, um, a lot of Steelers fans here tonight as well. Absolutely. So a lot of them are very happy. Absolutely. Some of them right there. And you hear them right there. You know the Steelers fans, they travel very well. We we learned that. Yes. People came from all over, especially even with the Colts fans. We saw people from California. Talked to a couple people from Texas. Uh, talked to someone from London mm -hmm. today. So I mean, hey, this is what the game is all about. Sure. But again. Again, a disappointing loss. Yeah, and one of the one of the things that we keep hearing is, hey, are the Colts tanking? Are they trying to get that that quarterback that they so desperately need? I don't think that's the case. But some of the fans out here are pretty fed up with this team already. Uh, this was a, a must win, I think, for Jeff Saturday. We we said it before the game, and I think we'll probably say it for the rest of the week. There's no doubt about it. This team needed to win this game. Jeff Saturday said it. We'll have we'll see what he has to say coming up after the game uh, or after in, in a little while as well when we uh, check in with uh, sports director Anthony Calhoun. And there was a lot of community elements to today's game outside of the mm -hmm. actual game. A really cool pregame happening. We got a chance to talk to a couple of the Colts organization, um, you know, as far as what they have going on as far as kicking the stigma, which is a huge, yes. huge thing that's all across the country, really mm -hmm. trying to bring, you know, advocates to mental sure, health, which absolutely. was really important. Big part and of so, tonight's game. You know, Monday Night Football is really big in regards to that. Sign Lamar is something we just heard some guy yell out because I, we I all know knew. Lamar Jackson will be a free agent if yes. he doesn't re-sign with Baltimore. So I, I have a funny feeling we're going to start to hear more of those chants as I, the season progresses. I never knew we had so many NFL experts in one city. <laughs> Everybody's a GM, Everybody's right? Everybody's a GM right now. Uh, but, you know, that's what the game is all about. Everybody mm -hmm. has their stake in it. Everybody yep. wants their stake in the game. Absolutely. And there are some of the Steelers fans here who oh, are very, very excited happy. coming out of this uh, mm -hmm. stadium here tonight. Uh, and, you know, What's disappointing about this loss is that this is a game that they could have won. Mm -hmm. I would agree. They they weren't overly, uh, Steelers weren't great this year. They weren't overly matched. I mean, this is a game they could have pulled the W out, so it's, it's unfortunate they couldn't hear it home. It was interesting. We were in the stadium in the first and second quarter, and Phil and I looked at each other, and we were like, is this going fast to you or right. what? I mean, things were just moving rapidly. We were hoping that some plays would just create Go a their way. bit of momentum yeah, right. for the Colts, and it just wasn't happening. And, you know, the one thing I will give them is they were down, I believe, uh, three, six, they were down 12, nothing, somewhere around there, 10, nothing, somewhere, uh, and, and at that point you just thought, okay, they're flat, they're done. And then they started coming back. Yes. So I do give them credit for that. Mm -hmm. But... You had you have to you have to kind of pull out a W there tonight. Well, I definitely want to hear from our amazing sports team. I know that we have uh, a couple people that are going to be on the podium, and I believe sports director Anthony Calhoun mm -hmm. is ready to give us some insight. They see. Yeah, yeah, hey guys, thanks a lot here with former Colts defensive back here, Marlon Jackson. As you guys saw right here on Wish TV, the Colts losing here tonight, 24 to 17. So much to break down here on the post game show, yeah, but yeah. I know you saw a former coach who was the defensive coordinator for the Pittsburgh Steelers, and the game plan they had <laughs> for the you. Colts was to perfection because that really dictated what happened here tonight. Yeah, and literally at the end, they executed so well. Moving Matt Ryan off of his spot in the pocket, getting him to be mobile, not allowing Jonathan Taylor to make, break any big runs. They executed great down the stretch. The Colts did not do so. Um, again, more inconsistency from the offense the first half, not being able to get on the same page in all three phases of the game, offense, defense, and special teams. More of what we seen for this entire season yeah. a lack of consistency overall from the Indianapolis Colts. And, and here we are 12 weeks
weeks into the NFL season, and the communication still not on point here for this team offensively. Uh, the poor defense, I felt bad for the guys because they got no breaks there in the first half. Think about this, folks. The Colts offense, zero yards in the first quarter. Zero. Zero. That's the second time that's happened this season. It happened against the Patriots, and now twice here, as we saw here tonight, against the Pittsburgh Steelers. This offense, downright ugly. Ugly in the first half. Whatever Jeff Saturday said to his team, halftime, half <laughs> uh, he woke him up a little bit, but 3 of 12 on third downs. This kind of takes us back to what we saw in the Patriots yeah. game. They were over 14 on third down conversions. I know Jeff Saturday's at the podium. Let's hear from the Colts interim head coach Jeff Saturday and get his take on tonight's loss to the Steelers. Over at our own side, defense fought and held up and um, then gave up points. We didn't, we didn't do nearly enough in the first half. Dug ourselves a big hole. Felt like the effort was good. They fought, came back strong in the second half. Um, gave themselves opportunities again. Fumble inside the one yard line. Can't do it. And um, not not converting at the uh, with the two minute there at the end. So um, I think ultimately you know, can't have two turnovers against a team like that. Third down conversion wasn't nearly good enough. Again, first half had a ton to do with that. Um, just didn't make enough plays. Nah, yeah, you know, I, I thought we had plenty of time. I wasn't really concerned. We still had timeouts. I wasn't too concerned. I really wanted, I, you know, when he was going down, I couldn't tell where they were going to start him from going down, right? Like he was going to get the first down, and then we got there. Um, I expected us to get on the ball and be and have another play um, a little bit quicker than that. But again, it wasn't a. This wasn't a press for time. We just didn't make enough plays. Jeff, what was, what was the plan at halftime? You guys came out in the third. Yeah, I mean, listen, I, when we walked in, I just said, hey, this, you're going to learn a lot about who you are right now, right? And uh, Z got up and, and uh, you know, gave the breakdown and just challenged everybody. And those guys, you know, they stepped up and made the, you know, met the challenge. It was uh, obviously it wasn't nearly good enough the first half. And uh, I think everybody felt it, wait, you know, just, just not nearly enough plays and really self-inflicted wounds, uh, which has kind of been the story of the last two weeks against opponents that, you know, you feel like you have an opportunity and don't make enough to, to close it out. Yeah, I, I didn't know that about college, but no, I mean, it, you know, today it was it was uh, it wasn't a, it, it wasn't a hit. It was a, a mesh, uh, you know, he and the QB and, and you know, getting the mesh. And so, um, yeah, one of those that you I don't know that I've seen it. If I have, I haven't seen it very often. Uh, obviously, that's tough to tough to stomach inside the one yard line. Yeah, I mean, listen, I felt like um, from a, I thought the defense started good. You know, obviously they gave up, the, the, you know, you give up the field goal, but then we give them a short, um, you know, we turn it over inside our own and they hold. Um, so I thought they fought. The effort was good there. For us, we, we, you know, we, there were plays to be made. We just didn't make them. And, um, you know, we, we thought we could attack them down the field. They, you know, they were, they were pressing us up pretty good early in the game, and we were trying to get some plays off and, and just communication wasn't great, execution wasn't great. Again, you can point fingers, and it's like everybody takes a turn at different moments. And uh, so, you know, collectively, we just didn't do enough. And you saw we come out in the second half, and it looks like two totally different offenses, one that's in rhythm, moving, no new plays. You know, we talk about all the time, no new plays, no new players. It boils down to executing. And uh, we, just, we just did a much better job in the second half than we did the first. Uh, I don't. I think the uh, the first one, the kid made a good play. He fell off in, in the coverage he was in. Um, I, I think it was um, um, I think it was Pitt who was trying to sit down. He fell off another another receiver to make the play. So it was a yeah, heck of a play for the kid to make, and uh, just just you know, had good eyes on the play. And the second one, like I said, just you know untimely, and you know you hate to see it again. How often does that happen? It may never happen in his career again. Just unfortunately, it happened tonight. Jeff, when you got here. There was a quarterback changeover. I mean, you know all this. Yeah. Right. Have you seen enough of the three games to open to 
rethinking that, or is, is Ryan your guy? No, Matt's doing, yeah, yeah, he, Matt, Matt's going to continue to be the guy. We're going to, like I said, we're going to keep keep moving forward, keep pressing forward with what we got, and, um, yeah, I tell the guys in the locker room, man, it's not, it's, we got the players in the locker room to do it, we got the plays to do it, we, we got to figure out how to execute, and, um, and moments that matter, and so that's, that's really what we got to focus in on and hone in on. Yeah, I didn't feel like time was really of the essence at the moment. I, I thought we had a good play. Um, I thought we would get to, yeah, uh, and I felt like we would get to it. You know, we, um, you know, obviously we don't do great on the backside, so it, it, it's it's worse than it, you know. But I felt good about the call before. I felt like we had time. We would have timeouts afterwards. We were in striking distance. So, yeah, I, I never felt like the pressure of needing the timeout. Thought, like I said, I thought the call was good, and the, you know, we. Again, we were in that mode pretty much the whole second half, so it was pretty consistent with what we were doing. So again, it wasn't like a change for us. Um, we just didn't execute it. On a positive note, how impressive was Jelani Woods today? Oh, so glad he's back. I, mean, I had a heck of a day. Um, you know, Jelani a, is a massive human being and uh, got, got a great attitude, a great heart. Kid fights and um, you know made play after play for us. And and uh, yeah, he's he's one of those guys. You're you're super excited to get him back in the lineup made a bunch of plays for us tonight. Jeff, all week you talked about how this game would be won or lost in the trenches. How do you evaluate your offensive line performance? Yeah, I actually think they did a pretty decent job. They gave us yourself, you know, gave ourselves a shot to win. Um, you know, I thought they matched up again. And I've talked to these guys. It's going to have to get better each and every week. I think they're making strides. That's a really good group. Um, and I thought they fought. You know, some of the – I know a couple of the sacks, um, you know, one was a nickel in coverage coming down to make the sack in you know, an offensive line. So not all sacks are equal. Um, um, but I thought the guys really did a good job. I thought uh, Bernie did a really good job again, put a big hat on him, uh, blocking High Smith and that whole side, and then obviously blocking uh, TJ um, on the right side. For um, you know, when when you talk about those two guys and the guys in the middle, they had a heck of an opportunity. I thought they met up and and, and fought well. Anything from the writers who just came down? Just one more on the, on the game situation. I, I know you said you, you weren't concerned about the time on the clock, but. A timeout would give Parks Frazier a chance to maybe come up with his favorite play call there. Yeah, we already had it. Yeah, I mean, we had it as the play was happening. We already had Again, that was kind of the mode we were in the whole second half, so we already had it in the head. We were going actually to the next play. So as soon as as soon as soon he got tackled, we knew where we were going. And, um, again, I, I mean, would I have liked him to snap it a little bit earlier? Sure. But, again, never felt pressed for time, never felt like uh, we wanted to get to something different. You know, you just got, like I said, it's, you know, we, we had made that, that same play a couple times and done well with it, and unfortunately it just didn't work out. All right, that is a Colts interim head coach Jeff Saturday talking to the media about his 24 to 17 loss here tonight to the Pittsburgh Steelers. Everybody, Anthony Calhoun here along with Marlon Jackson. And one thing that he was asked was about his quarterback play, Matt Ryan. We know that he was just downright, he struggled there in the first half. Had a tough Big night time. overall. Big time. He was asked about going forward with this guy, and he said yes, Matt Ryan would continue to be the quarterback.